Hi all, welcome to Salesforce in 5 minutes. In this video, we are going to understand what is bulkification in Salesforce and how do we actually bulkify the triggers in Salesforce. So, what's bulkification in Salesforce? First of all, in Salesforce, whenever we are going to do any kind of operation, so let's say this is our org and this org will be used by multiple people so that can be possible if we go in a commercial view there can be possibility that this specific org can be used by hundred or thousands of people at the same time so now whenever they are going to update any contact or any account record there is a possibility that out of this thousand people hundred people or at least ten people might do some operation at the same time in bulkified mode so they might insert the record at the same time they might delete the record at the same time they might update the record at the same time so if we have written any kind of functionality in that cases when the record is updated or created like a trigger and if that the trigger should execute properly when the when the large amount of data is inserted or updated or deleted so in such cases we have to write a code in such a way that it should be able to handle a large amount of data so let's say we have written a trigger that whenever uh, in that in this case let's consider whenever a phone number this mobile number is updated automatically the account name uh, inside the contact if i update this mobile number uh, the account name that is dickinson plc uh, account phone number that is fax number or phone number should also get automatically updated so let's say this is only for one record but what if thousands of records are inserted at the same time this functionality should properly work in that case as well so in order to handle the scenarios we have to do bulkification in salesforce so let's understand with in code wise how we can handle the bulkification in salesforce so uh, let's say uh, we have an uh, account named as akash who has phone number as 123 and it has tc as its account tagged to it so what happens is whenever if i am going to update the akash phone number to 1235 125 the dc that is the account that is uh, tagged to this contact should uh, should also have phone number 125 same should go if there is one more contact named as ajay and if phone number is and the account that is tagged to it is let's say gb so in that case if ajay updates the phone number to triple six seven the same should be automatically updated to the gb that is the account tag to the ajay contact it should not happen that if i am going to update the akash phone number the gb phone number should get updated or if i update the aj ajay's phone number uh, dc phone number should get updated the cross connection should not happen so in that cases we have to create a key value pair so in order to perform any kind of bulkification in salesforce we, the main things that are used is so these are the three things that are most important in order to create bulkification or in order to achieve bulkification in salesforce list sets and map in map you can create a key value pair so for, for an example for ajay So if the code is not bulkified actually the issue usually happens is if Akash's phone number is updated GB might get updated or if Ajay's phone number is updated DC might get updated if DC account phone number may, might get updated if the code is not bulkified. So in that case is we have to create key value pair okay Akash is the key and value is DC. So for only Akash if Akash phone number is updated Akash contact phone number is updated DC account phone number should only update it not the gb or anything other like that so to in order to avoid any kind of cross connections when the large amount of data is processed we have to use maps in salesforce we also can use use list and sets in order to store the id now in list you can store the duplicate ids so let's say So if suppose the account record ID right now or phone number if you want to store the uh, phone number inside the list so 1 2 3 4 5 6 is the phone number again I can store 1 2 3 4 5 6 phone number if in case of list but in case of set I cannot store the duplicate values.
So in set, I won't be able to store again one, two, three, four, five, six. It should be only one, two, three, four, five, because set can only store unique values. In case of map. It's usually key value pair. So key can be ID. Let's say Akash is the key, and one, two, three, four, five, six is the value. Ajay is the key. Four, five, six, six, seven, eight, nine, something like that is the value. So you have to create a key value pair in this case. Now one more thing that has to be kept in mind is that Akash, that is the key inside the map, should always be unique. So the key inside the map should be always unique. Values can be duplicate, but the key should always be unique. Now to use map in Salesforce, there are a few functions. First of all, to in order to populate the map in Salesforce, we have to use put function. So let's say our map is So this is how you can populate the value inside map. Now in order to get the value for a particular, let's say I have put So I have put three values inside where Akash is the key and values 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Ajay is the key, 1, 2, 3, 4 is the value, KL is 12. So now in case if we want that, what is the value of Akash for key Akash? In order to get that, you can use So using this, you will automatically get for the Akash, whatever the value is. So you will automatically get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 if you are going to print it. The value for Akash. Now the value that I am going to get back is the string type. So that's why it should be. So this is how you can get the, like if you put popular.get Akash, so automatically inside the value, you will get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. If you get put here Ajay, you will get 1, 2, 3, 4. And if you put KL, you will get 12 here. So vice versa. So this is all about maps, list, and sets in Salesforce. And this is how you can achieve the bulkification in code. In the next video, we will understand with a real-time example in Salesforce how to achieve bulkification. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to our channel.